Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 2. Today we're doing car shop deliveries. It's going to be kind of a short, uh, short video, not very long. It's only about like uh, 36 minutes or so. So we can get everything fired up here. We have to go to the location indicated. Double tap, double tap, double, double check our lines to make sure we are going to where we need to go. We don't want to get off onto a separate track where we're not supposed to be. That would be very good. So, probably gonna be bound to happen before the end of the video. That actually needs to be on dead or lead. There we go. All right. So I did this video right after I did the uh, fully re refueled, and so uh, I'm going to be going a little bit faster than I should be doing. But that's okay, right? Coming up to our first marker. I knew we was going to overshoot it, but whatever. It's telling us to continue on, so we're just going to continue on. We don't have to change any tracks because of the direction that we're traveling in. We are uh, not well. I think we're going to be going around the corner up here. No, we got to go up here and stop and go back the other way, I believe. Okay, so now, yes, we need to go back the other way. Change this track, and then we'll pick up those cars right there. Perfect, okay. Break off. Not too much of a hurry. too fast and then derail ourselves. Let's 
still hitting some golf balls out there. Okay. About little guys outside. Uh, not so little anymore, but he's outside hitting golf balls with his friend across the street who is in our backyard. So, yeah, hitting golf balls out to the field. Let them hit them to the field, that's great. Just don't hit my house. <laughs> All right, so. Temple here. Apparently we're gonna have to get out and connect those. It shows that they're, oh, no, it connected itself. All right, don't even have to worry about that. That was the sound of the train moving. <laughs> but we're just moving very slowly, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, just want to make sure that it was not getting away from me. Alright, we got that one switched over. Switch this one. That one's where it needs to be. Perfect. Alright, let's get back into the cabin. As you can see, the train is rolling. <laughs> oh. All right, now well, let's go back the other way. Alright guys, this is going to take a moment to get down here to this point. Uh, but I'm a little bit concerned though. Because the uh, spot that it wants me to go to is going to put me through the building. And the doors are closed down here, so... This is going to be interesting. We're going to go right down here to the end, or to the marker, and we're going to watch the train come in. This will be fun. We got these doors down here. I don't know if they're going to open uh, before the train gets here or before their vehicles arrive. Or if there's a button I have to push to open it. Or if we're just going to crash right through it. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't want to derail the train, but uh, it seems like, uh, well, let's just, let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like one of our cars have made it. And it looks like we're pushing right through the door. Uh, yeah. We're pushing through the door. We are inside. Wow. Yep, we're pushing through.
It looks like the door is open, but it's not. So we're gonna we're just gonna keep backing it up to our to the spot where it wants us to back up to. Twenty-two yards. It looks like we are. Oops, didn't mean to throw that far. Oh well. All right, so now I have to go uncouple three vehicles. Uh. Okay. don't think nope well, that's crazy that is crazy well and clicking on the door doesn't open it okay so we're gonna have to go around uh, let's go this way we'll just go around to the back side hopefully the trains not inside okay good it doesn't look like it is now there we go alright perfect holy crap I just locked them back up no dude you're gonna have to go back crap no you can't climb up the ladder We're going to have to go back and uh, uncouple those because I just unlocked them and then locked them back up again. I'll figure it out here in just a minute. <laughs> All right. Now that I've, I just realized that uh, we're still connected back here. So we're going back with the camera instead of getting out of the, the cab to come back. We're just going to disconnect these three cars here. Alright, there we go. Now then. Alright, so we're back in the cab. Now we can pull the cars that we still have attached. Pull those out. Don't want to give it too much throttle, but at the same time, we don't want it to uh, take forever to get going either. Remember, I just spent several hours on the fully refueled mission. So we're about halfway through now.
240 yards to go for this one, but we are about to get sidetracked. Just realized it too. All right. I was just going to get this as soon as the train uh, locomotives back off of and clear the switch, I will move it and then we can continue on once again. So the train is off. We'll check this one just to make sure it's in the right place. And it is. And we'll try this again. Oh, yeah. Be careful when you... Uh... Cause the train to jerk. Now we're going in the right directions. <laughs> so yeah, we got this short one. I'm not exactly sure what the next mission is going to be, or the next job for us. Back to the map. And we gotta go back 537 yards in the opposite direction. Alright, so we've double checked everything uh, on the map so we know that our tracks are in the correct position. And then we're just going to get this baby rolling. So I do realize that. Uh, I could be going a little bit faster, but that's okay. That's okay. About to drop off a couple more cars here. A couple more cars or vehicles. Eighty yards to our, our marker, and again, uh, we're going to be pushed right through the building. So, probably going to have to go around to the other side or pull it back out if it's inside of the building. We'll have to pull it back out so that we can get to it. All right, so it did let us. stop here and still reach our marker and before I have to uh, 
go through yeah all right so we're just gonna have to pull the in the uh, locomotives forward because we cannot get inside of the building yeah we're gonna try and push them backwards but uh it's gonna s doubt it's gonna let us in Like, I, I don't think the locomotive is going to go through the building. I think it's going to stop. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to let us uh Nope, not going to let us through the building. So We're just going to pull it up, and then we will, uh, just uncouple the cars from there. And once we get past these orange markers here, get these uncoupled and then we'll be on our way we have just a few more cars to uh, uncouple we have to make our way back to the new marker, which is uh, not too far away. We'll get back up here. We'll change the track. Yeah, see, we only got two more cars left. Uh, two more vehicles still attached. figure out where the last two are going to go and then we'll make our way back to uh, to our resting spot our standing our standing spot Okay, looks like we're going to be going to the left side of the building. Perfect, perfect, and there we are. So we don't have to worry about uh, going inside of the building this time or getting pushed through. We're just going to go off to the left side. Or the right side, just depending on which way you're looking at it or not looking at it <laughs> and kick that throttle up there and get this mission completed let's go ahead and get it some speed up
get that bell turned off. I know you're supposed to use it while you're in the yard, but uh, after a while, it does get a little bit on the annoying side. Plus, um, sometimes the sound file doesn't exactly play right either, so something else to think about there. train is the remote operation at the moment. Sometimes it looks like it's moving a lot faster than it really is. All right. Get these last two here. Unlocked, decoupled. So that's what I thought I did last time, but I didn't. All right, objective complete. Now we have to make our last our last stop. I think this is going to be our last stop. Pretty sure it is. We don't have any more cars to uncouple. We'll see though. <coughs> So, I mean, it is possible, but I think this is the end of our, our route for today, our task. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, objective complete. Ugh. Okay, now we have to go back. Change... I think it's just taking us back to where we need to, where we started from. Go. Forgot to take the brake off. So now we're just going back to where we started from. Having to change tracks because we had to change tracks to move the cars to the car shop. So. Shift is over, and we are we're done. We're just done. The faster we get done with this, apparently, the better. <laughs>
Okay, so we overshot it a little bit. Forty two yards a little bit. <laughs> Well, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this episode of Train Sim World 2 Car Shop Deliveries. Join me for the next one. I hope you enjoyed watching this one as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you guys in the next video.